We had the perfect sketches of our brand new tribal charger, but our 3D print, complete failed. Welcome back to episode three of Behind the Product, where we're taking behind the journey of creating our latest innovation, the Powerpack Universal 2. By now, we've locked in features, finalized sketches, and completed initial CAD models. The next step, to print a 3D model to see if it actually makes sense in real life. We loaded the model into the 3D printer, and soon after, our first prototype was here. But immediately, we knew it wasn't quite right. The square body looked nice, but once split into two parts, the design felt weird to hold. We also had concerns the magnets wouldn't be strong enough. Additionally, we felt there wasn't enough room for the charging coils. So, it was back to the drawing board, back to sketching and putting it through CAD. After a few more reprints, finally we were happy with how it looked. It was quite different to our existing model, but something about it just felt right. For the next few weeks, we worked with our engineer team to create the internals and make sure the features we wanted would actually work. After a lot more sleepless nights, we got a package delivered. At last it was here, our first working prototype. Everything looked perfect, we had nailed it. Until we started to test out the functions. That's when more problems started surfacing, one by one. 